Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones, and joining me is Mia Shin from Busonic. And every Projection Summit, uh, Mia comes and talks about some of the cool new Viewsonic projectors that they're going to be introducing. So, Mia, how are you? Good. How are you, Phil? Thank you for having me. So, before we get started, we'd like to thank our sponsors, AV Pro and Meridio, for helping us put on this year's Spring Projection Summit, where we talk about all things dealing with projectors, whether it's projectors themselves, screens, accessories, even calibration, everything you need to build a great projection system. But today, we're going to be talking about ViewSonic projectors. Let's talk about some kind of business professional models. So these are um, LED lamp free because we're noticing that, you know, going lamp free is really the trend. It saves you the hassle of replacing lamps. Now, LED will be able to reach up to 4,000 ANSI lumens. So it will be a great brightness for a lot of um, B2B or conference scenario if you're going to use this projector. We have a LED light source the projectors ranging from 2,000 all the way to 4,000 ANSI lumens. So let's right. talk a little bit about a couple of these XGA business education projectors. What are the 510 and the 560 and what are their differences? So definitely, I think the first thing is the LED, that's the light source, that's the major technology behind this new um, projectors. Not only, you know, you're going to get a richer color and uh, let's talk about the uh, lifespan of LED. It's 30,000 hours. Um, a lot of people, they are, you know, like 30,000 hours, that, what does that mean? That means that if, um, you know, for either for your business, for your meetings, for your um, classroom, if you're using the projector four hours a day, um, 30,000 hours means this, pro this projector can last longer than 20 years. And the next thing we're going to mention is always the high brightness, because that's mm -hmm. used to be the limitation. But now yeah. with this new um, like Osram light source LED, it can reach up to um, 3,000, 4,000 NC lumens. We don't talk mm -hmm. about LED lumens, uh, we're talking mm -hmm. about NC lumens. And also show throw. Show throw is uh, making the projector more versatile for the application for the room that you're going to use this projector in. And last but not least, just ease of use. Um, right. Like right. You, it turns on, turns off pretty much instantly like a TV. No waiting for the blinking light to turn off before you can leave it or move it around. And of course, you have all of the things you need to to simplify installation, which is good. Right. And this one. This one you are seeing here, this is the LS510 um, WH. It's pretty compact, actually. It was 3,000 NC lumens um, this size. It's, uh, I think it's uh, really, um, and giving the light source life, it's one of the best deals. So the main difference between the 510 and the 560 is the throw distance. If you want to put it towards the back of the room, 510. If you want to put it in front of the user or maybe on the table in the middle of the room, you may want to look at a, five, a 560, which makes sense because you got to be able to cover both applications. And at a, under $800 for 3,000 anti lumens of solid state brightness is um, an amazing, amazing deal. Now, moving up, you have models above those. The 610 family, they're similar to the um, 510. Um, the major difference brightness. So they are larger. They are slightly larger. Um, so the major improvement on the 610 is the brightness. Because 4,000 NC lumens that will, you know, instead of uh, capable of doing a good presentation in a mid-sized uh, conference room, 4,000 mm -hmm. you will have, um, you know, more flexibility to use the, in a larger conference room, classroom, or even lift a lot of lights up. So, so if we look at the features, a lot of the features are are similar to the the model we just talked about correct right and um we have two uh version of 610 one is um they both are hd ready one is white xga and the other one is uh 1080p so mm -hmm. for the 1080p one that it's um hdr support now the next one we've done reviews of x1s and x2s in the past but now we have a new version of this projector this is one of the most exciting new products, new projectors we're going to launch in the upcoming months. We partner with Xbox and this projectors, this monster has been tested through 63 criteria to be certified as Xbox projectors. So there are a lot, make it a lot easier to go with your Xbox console 
not mm -hmm. only for gaming, but for streaming. So you're going to have a much better, smoother versus using a TV or other projector because this uh -huh. is certified by Xbox. The fact that it's been certified by Xbox is the first time I've ever heard of that. Now, there's been a lot of growth of using projectors for gaming due to their low lag performance and the size. If you've never played a video game on a projector, it's just a totally different experience because the image is so big. But like I said, there's some cool things about it that, that stood out. The 1440 at 120 hertz support, that's really cool because that's how a lot of gamers tend to configure their consoles. Also, auto low latency mode. So the uh, auto low latency mode is only one tenth of the delay of average 4K TV. Um, using a projector certified by Xbox is going to give you a totally new experience and feel more connected to your games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look at this as a chart that you provided, the latency is approaching if that of a high-end gaming-specific video monitor. So it, it does help you be competitive. Now, what I like most about low, auto low latency mode is there's um, ways you want to configure a projector to make a great gaming experience. But then there's settings and things you want on when you are watching a movie. And a lot of projectors have multiple modes. And you find yourself having to switch from one mode when you're watching Netflix to another mode when you're watching gaming. What auto low latency mode, the gaming content in the Xbox, when you're playing Netflix, the projector can be in cinema mode. The second you switch over to playing Halo on your Xbox, the projector will automatically switch to game mode. So what you end up with is the best of both worlds, a great looking movie projector and a great looking gaming projector. What's the brightness? In terms of the NC lumens is 2150, but because the light source is LED, much higher color saturation, wider color gamma, make it a visually it looks very similar to a 3000 uh, NC lumens projector. Visually. Exactly. And, and it also has a upgraded sound system. Yeah, Harman Kardon theater level speakers. This is definitely a monster for you to game with. Game bigger, but at the same time, don't forget, this is still a 4K projector. So perfect mm -hmm. for using as a cinema projector. Exactly. Now, there was a couple of things that were interesting. No one wants to put down their gaming controller to grab their remote control for their projector or things like that. So now you can control it using the Xbox's controller, right? So yeah, with the CEC feature that you'll be able to send comments to, and from the CEC and able devices, such as TV and the AV, AVRs, um, this, those are connected to the console. So mm -hmm. the CEC works perfectly with Xbox for sure, and also other mm -hmm. major gaming consoles, you will be able to control seamlessly. Yeah. And not only can you use the hand controller, you can also use your voice, which is pretty neat. Oh, the other thing that you pointed out is a lot of projectors of this size utilize a smaller DLP chip, but they make a bigger chip. It's called a 0.66, which is in this one. And that really does help you with black levels. So if you're someone that wants to use it for watching HDR, and movie content, having that other chip in here is a great solution. I think one last thing I wanna mention is still a 4K projector, good for home cinema. And also this one used the latest LED technology. And then mm -hmm. we were thrilled to be told that mm -hmm. um, the light source can go up to 60,000 hours. We talk about wow. 30,000 hours, which is like four hours <laughs> Day, 20 years. Now yeah. this can go up to 40 years. It's yeah. another new breakthrough. Yeah. And a lot of kids, a lot of people play video games for hours and hours at a yeah. time. Totally. And then they still watch movies. So the projector does get used a lot. So having the fact that it'll last for 60,000 hours means just you never have to worry about it. It has a life that is as long or longer than many TVs. And of course you have some other features. What's the, you're talking about USB-C, which right. has some benefits with Nintendo Switch. 
definitely. So instead of using the dock that you can just connect through USB-C and you'll be able to game immediately. So that's another great benefit. So this is definitely the gaming projector, perfect to go with Xbox. But if you use other console, you, definitely they are still good to go with. So I think this projector is just amazing. Oh, the other thing too that stood out. Sometimes you may want to game at night, my son does. And at midnight on a Saturday, I don't want to hear him <laughs> playing a game. So this also has Bluetooth output. So he could use Bluetooth headphones while he games or while he watches television at night and the sound can come through the headphones, which is another great feature. I think it's a, a great product. So what does this unit retail for? $15.99. Okay. And when will it be available? The time frame will be around July, August-ish. So we've talked so far about the advantages of LED and some of the cool products that are done for business and education. We've talked about this really cool LED 60,000 hour Xbox certified ultimate gaming projector, which is awesome. Now there's one more because there's, there's still sometimes a need for um, really higher brightness and sometimes laser is the best solution. So you also have a, a, another Pro AV model to talk about. So can you talk to me about this unit real quick? Yeah. So this is the latest laser model we have is LS740. We're going mm -hmm. to have two resolutions, just like our LS610 family. So we'll have the wide XGA version and also the 1080p version. The mm -hmm. 1080p version will be available around time for maybe September. And the breakthrough of this laser projector is the size. It's much mm -hmm. compact and also the price. Mm -hmm. um, we, just like you mentioned, the LED, oh, pretty nice. We like the color, we like the lifespan, but at mm -hmm. the same time, when you need something really powerful, really bright, laser mm -hmm. is still the technology to go with. Mm -hmm. So with this latest projector we're going to launch is a 5,000 NC lumens mm -hmm. better than 10, 1080p resolution, the street price will be around $12.99. So mm -hmm. if you search online, it's you will find out all of the laser projectors today, probably the price will be above or close to 2K. But with our latest breakthrough, smaller, more compact, but yet mm -hmm. still powerful 5,000 NC lumens projector, the street price will be twelve ninety nine. This is a breakthrough. Yes. So if you're looking for a high brightness projector for a bigger room or a room with more ambient light, that's the way to go. The interesting thing is we're doing a series right now on outdoor theaters. And a lot of times they want to start using it before the sun goes down or at dusk and things like that. Or they want to use a really big screen. And twelve ninety nine for an HD model for that application is an amazing option. And it's still quite compact. A 5,000 lumen projector used to be huge. <laughs> right. So now this is something that could easily be utilized at community centers and things like that for movie night. So that's yeah. actually cool. Yeah. The size so. will be even smaller than this. Okay. The, oh, really? Know, yeah. Okay. That's so, so there's Great definitely compact. Brightness, size, and also the price. And a lot of that has to do with advancements in the laser light sources that are being used. Right, new laser so, technology. And I like point number three, cost per inch. That's a big one. There's no way that you can, if you're looking for larger sizes, that you could beat a projector like this. Now, you also have a few other things. Let's talk about some of the install flexibility things. Portrait right. mode. And yeah. 360 projection. Can you talk about that? Yeah. So portrait mode, if that means for some digital signage application, they instead of using landscape, they want to portray mode to it might be better to fit the content. And then mm -hmm. this is the perfect solution because it's laser 24/7 high brightness, and you will be able to do getting the most out of the box per inch. 
Yes. The other thing too, when it says on uh, point number two, high brightness, because it is using a bigger DMD imager, you can have the higher brightness, but also you get good black levels, which gives you higher contrast. That makes things like text pop or you the ability to see things like the detail in black, my black shirt and the shirt still be black. So the high contrast makes everything look better. It makes colors look more vibrant. It gives you shadow detail. So using the bigger imager is good too. So that's actually another thing is it's rare to see a projector with this type of luminance with this size of an imager at this price point. I'll, I'll say this is a great hybrid projector. It has mm -hmm. all the, the powerful specs of a, the traditional laser projector while the size is compact and like a, an LED or LAN based projector. So you got a benefit from both technologies. So Mia, thank you very much for coming and talking to us about some of the upcoming projectors from Busan. Thank you for having me. Okay, take care everyone. And Bye. I will talk to you soon.